past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Fucking dope, dude. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the one I've been waiting for, honestly, for the longest time now. I've been waiting for Unity for a long time. I've been wanting to play this. Do we have to do the tragedy of Jacques de Molay? Do we have to do this? I'm assuming so. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, Experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Interesting. Thirteen oh seven. I think I knew that already from when I watched a wee bit of it on YouTube. Long time ago. When it first a came friend out. Of the temple. Fluarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. They said just man back then? Back in 1307? Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Oh shit. I didn't even notice the guys until like last second. Those are straight up like Templar wearing fucking Templars. Templar wearing Templars. They're wearing the same exact gear, man. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, man. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. All right, so that's who we're playing as. Wait, 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 hold on. Before, dude, before anything, hold on. Another hand is at work here. The Pope, the assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masaya, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are very little as the plague, less easily eradicated. I like that guy's voice. Like in a non-weird sense, like I like it. We will not prevail this night. If you make haste, we may yet save 1307. our own. Go to them. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I will. Holy shit. Having fucking arrows rain down on him. Broski? Um. Now we're just gonna keep going, honestly. Hold the bridge! Hold! This game looks so good, like fuck. Take a different way. I'm so happy my graphics card can handle this shit. Damn. What was I gonna say? So well, this is 1307. Realistically, the Templar or the I mean the Assassin Order would have just like would have just he said they'd just been eradicated not too long ago. He said decades ago. And I mean yeah, it's twelve fifty. Can let me go up. There we go. They were just caught in a weird little fucking thing there. Yeah, the controls in this, you kind of have to be... You have to be precise with how you want to move your character. Ooh, that was the assassin right there. Fucking bed me, dude. You have to be precise with the buttons that you press. Oh shit, it's Black Altair! Well, I mean... 
I meant to say black dressed Altair. Come on, dude. I'm not. I'm not. Let's go, man. But he looks just like Altair, except you know he's wearing Altair's robes. Except they're just straight up black. But I mean, pretty much every assassin back then kind of had the same fucking robes anyway. But this is classic right here, dude. Templar chasing an assassin. Like this is fucking. This is what Assassin's Creed is all about right here. Oh shit! Holy fuck, that was cinematic. I gotta turn off vibrations on my thing. Oh, how that shit works. I press B to parry right as he's about to attack me, dude. Oh shit. Alright, I guess get ready to have a fucking epilepsy in this game. Oh, well, he just got somebody else. Two people fucking else. Damn. This assassin's no joke, dude. We're fucking Templars, my dude. A to dodge? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So they can attack you after they dodge. Okay. Well, I'm trying to dodge. Alright, that's what I was looking for right there. Fucking parry him, honestly. Oh shit, dude. Is that first civilization? Oh. Yep, that lands with accident. That must be the sword that that guy was talking about. Jacques de Mole. Jacques de Molers. Well, that assassin's super fucking dead. So the Templars prevail once again, looks like. Assassin's Creed, but this game... I mean, they, they don't put it lightly. Like, both sides fucking take losses, man. Straight up. That's a book. And that is a sword. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, that's probably the only reason why they showed that. It was just so you know that there's a fucking sword that you can collect as Arno. Oh. He's fucking caught. Oh, shit, dude. Same guy? Damn. Well, he's fucking dead, never mind. So much for Templars prevailing, dude. And there's their fucking guy is captured. Oh shit, they're gonna fucking burn him alive. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip! No punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in oh my God. hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more.